Like many of you, I've been searching the internet for a way to create that cover view effect popularized by uh, Apple's iPhone and uh, the Windows Vista Flip 3D. Here's a technique we use to generate a simulated 3D perspective using standard tools in Flash. There is no plugins, no additional software. Uh, it doesn't work in every single case, but uh, it certainly works in most. We're going to begin by creating a rectangle. We're going to uh, turn off our stroke and select a fill color. We'll just pick red for this uh, example. We're going to draw a rectangle on the screen about the same size and dimensions as the image that we would like to place in it. We'll select the uh, rectangle and now using our color palette we will select the type of fill as a bitmap. Uh, we're going to pick a JPEG off of our computer here, and we'll open that up, and it uh, fills the rectangular area. Next step is create a new layer. So we'll go up uh, and uh, create a new layer. Uh, we'll then cut and paste into that new layer, or the topmost layer, a version or a copy of the rectangle. Uh, we're going to work with the top layer first, so we'll use our pen tool. Uh, we'll take it over to the edge of the image to select the image and then in the bottom right hand corner when the cursor changes to a little minus sign we'll click on that point and delete it. This will create a triangle for us. So now we have a rectangle and a triangle. Uh, the bottom layer move over here and then the topmost layer of the triangle will move up right over top so that uh, the image is aligned. You'll see that uh, you can't tell that there's a triangle now over top of the rectangle. It is seamless. First thing we're going to do now to create the perspective is we'll select the topmost layer. We're going to reduce its width, holding down the shift key. And now we'll add the left and top perspective. So we're going to skew the right edge downward, again using the shift key. Now we'll select the bottom image. We're going to create the perspective for the bottom and the right edge of the image. So moving the width to the same size as the top layer, then skewing upwards to create our bottom angle, and then reducing the size, holding the shift key to equal the top right hand corner of the top image. So now what we have is a image in perspective. So the next thing we'll do is we'll just give it that uh, glossy effect or uh, the uh, reflective effect on the ground. So we'll copy that uh, rectangle version of the image. Um, given the fact that this will be um, not as visible to the individual seeing this website, uh, we're just going to use the basic skewing functions within Flash. So we've uh, created the width. Now we're going to flip the image. Uh, we'll reduce our height of the image and then skew it to the same angle as the bottom edge of the photograph. Uh, to apply the transparency, we'll need to create a movie clip of this. So we're going to create a symbol, a movie clip. And now uh, we can apply the alpha to that particular movie clip. So we'll select uh, alpha. We can set it at, uh, we'll say 60, which we have right here. And let's add just a little bit of a blur to it. Uh, you can uh, pick anywhere between five and, and, and 20 pixels. I'm just gonna use uh, 10 here. We'll add a little bit of blur there. And to give it that iPhone look, change our background to black. And there you go. There's your iPhone. 3D perspective image. As mentioned before, there are some limitations to this technique. You will want to avoid images with angles. Um, however, it works very well with human subjects. Be sure to check out our next video on recreating the iPhone cover flow in Flash.